Water quality remains a hot topic on our Treasure Coast, and Martin County leaders are taking more steps to try to prevent future algae blooms like the huge one we saw last summer. Their plan? Convert septic tanks to sewer systems. And Governor Scott wants to help keep that momentum going. News Channel 5's Alex Hagan joins us with more on how this will help with water quality issues in the years to come. Alex. Well, Michael, researchers say fecal bacteria from aging septic tanks is like fuel for algae blooms. It's seen as one of several contributors. Now, funding for sewer system conversions is a top priority. The scene on Salerno Road has been a common one in Martin County. If it's got to be done, you know, it's got to be done. Since the 1990s, county leaders have been converting septic tanks to sewer systems. Now the number of conversions is growing. Certainly in the last few years, um, as we saw the algae becoming a, a real issue here in our waterways. Gabriella Ferraro, the spokeswoman for Martin County's government, says the county has invested more than a million dollars the past two years. Since the 1990s, Ferraro says they have prevented nearly six million gallons per day of wastewater from entering waterways. But more work needs to be done to prevent blue-green algae from invading the Treasure Coast again. Now the governor wants to help, calling for $40 million for septic projects across the state. We're very grateful to Governor Scott for prioritizing these uh, projects in the budget. While this is just one element of a solution. I'm still paying from last year's crisis, so it's, uh, it's not on the back of my mind. It's on the top of my mind. Business owners like Ed Stout, who had his septic tank converted to sewer, is relieved to see the efforts in his county to improve water quality. It's not going to be the one silver bullet. I don't know that there is one silver bullet, but if we all contribute uh, our part, then you know things can only get better in the long run. County leaders tell me they plan on eliminating an additional 2,500 septic tanks over the next five years. Alex Hagan, WPTV, News Channel 5.